Hello, and welcome to another episode of Cruising Off Duty. This is the second part of our transit of Lake Ontario. As you saw in the last episode, we ran into some crazy fog in the afternoon, and then we got to Duck Island, which is an awesome island to stop. It's halfway in the middle of Lake Ontario. It's got docks, so you feel secure no matter what the wind is doing, but you gotta get used to lots of snakes. And let's just say I'm not a fan. No one, Janice kind of called me a little girl because I ran away from one. And the second half of the trip in this episode is just a lot more enjoyable. No creepy fog and no snakes. We will end up in Confederation Basin in downtown Kingston and we will show you why we just keep coming back to Kingston. It's by far our favorite city on the water. The docks are almost free and you're within a few blocks of all the restaurants, bars and entertainment you could possibly want. And we'll take you on a more detailed tour in this episode, so stay tuned. Back on deck. She's I, had her shower. I put on all my sunscreen. Now we're ready to stand out, sit out here in the sun. Beautiful outside. We just we're left Duck Island and we're heading to Confederation Basin in downtown Kingston again. We love that place. So Janice, of the places where our vacation's almost over, your vacation's almost over, I have another two weeks, but uh, we've done our circumnavigation of a bunch of places uh, back and forth in the United States. What were your favorite anchorages on this trip? On this trip? Or, or not just anchorages, I guess. I'm, places to stop because some okay. of them are, yeah. So we loved staying in Confederation Basin in Kingston because you can walk to everything. There's a lot of activity going on, lots of restaurants and patios. It's beautiful there. Mm -hmm. And uh, my second favorite is Duck Island. Snakes don't bother me at all. So um, I appreciated everything about that place. The birds were everywhere and there's good dogs. There's a composting outhouse for, you know. For campers? Yeah, or for boaters. Don't want to fill their yeah, tanks. <laughs> um, and then uh, my next favorite is Breaky Bay, where we stayed a couple weeks ago. That's on, on Wolf Island. Yeah, on Wolf Island, because again, it's very tranquil and lots of birds, and there's somewhere you can dinghy. And there's a little bridge you can dinghy under and uh, dinghy down the stream. And then I uh, like Beau Rivage, where we went on our first oh, yeah. adventure. And yeah. that's it, I guess. And then what about the American ones? Oswego. Oswego was good just because there were things to do. And at Clayton, we went to Clayton and we liked that a lot too because there was a lot of cute stuff within walking distance. We probably wouldn't bother with Cape Vincent or Sackett's Harbor again, though. Well, Sackett's Harbor was cute, but there's just nobody around. Yeah, but I next guess it, year we'll try again, but yeah. this year we're not going back. I think if we went with another buddy boat and we had people to hang out with, uh, it, it was a cute town and it did have restaurants and things Yeah, I feel do. bad for them because the weather level really, really hurt them. Yeah, the high water level seemed to really kill yeah. the business. Yeah. So they were kind of a ghost town, which was a little... Yeah, we were walking down, we, we walked around in there, and it reminded me of the episodes of Walking Dead when they wander through the, the deserted whole... towns. That's what it was like. It's saw no people. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it was a little weird. It was very cute, though. <laughs> well, yeah, very clean, very well-maintained. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I agree. Like, maybe that one would be better if there was more people, but... Uh, yeah. Yeah, I agree with pretty much the, the order that she had it in. Um, yeah, I forgot about um, Beau Rivage. Yeah, that was, that was very nice. I was right at the beginning of our vacation, so yeah. Oh, and I guess the other places we've been to, oh, Kerr Bay. Oh, oh, that Kerr Bay, not not great. Um, yeah, there wasn't anything to do, but it's a nice anchorage to get out of the wind. And um, we went to Wapoos, and we loved oh, that Wapoos. town. We biked to the cider house, but we didn't anchor in the right spot, so I can't speak about yeah. the anchorage because we haven't been that there. That was our boat dragging incident. Next time. So that kind of yeah. made us go, eh, about anchoring there. We're going to have a better dinghy motor and anchor at the right spot next time. Yeah. Yeah, supposedly if you anchor across the bay and the docks Wapoos. are really nice, but you know we paid sixty-seven dollars to dock there for one night, and so that's really yeah. cheap. We you don't want to be doing that every time that, you so go. We'd rather yeah. anchor out. So yep. yeah. Anyways, that's it. So we're heading to Kingston downtown Confederation Basin. It'll be fun, of course, because you're right in the heart of Kingston, and it's a big city, so there's lots of bars and restaurants. So yeah. we'll look forward to that. Okay, bye. Okay, bye for now. Hello, everybody. Hello. So we're back at Confederation Basin at Kingston. We're gonna go for a walk. It's a beautiful sunny day. It was a beautiful sail from uh, oh, Duck sunny. Island back. Just... Actually a very fast sail because it was very windy. Mm -hmm. So, But got us here quick. Now we're gonna go walk around downtown Kingston. As you can see, we're in the basin. Yeah. This is the day docks over here and for some reason they're never full. So you don't yeah. really even have to pay for them. Where is everybody? So, yeah. Don't know, it's a secret. Nobody knows it's, this is here. Great for us. Yes. And now we're really, really like right in the downtown core of Kingston. So we're gonna go for a walk. 
I gotta buy new sunglasses because mine keep breaking. So. <laughs> Somehow I don't know rather, what he's doing to them. I don't know. I've broken two on this trip. So <laughs> two, a, yeah. Got a, I've got electrical tape on here to, to make it actually have two, two, whatever it's called, arms. So, gotta go buy another one. So, shopping we go. talking about how close it is, there's the sushi place and the ice cream place, and then just down here is where our boat is presently moored. Okay, after walking around downtown Kingston, we're back on the boat, firing up the barbecue to have some steaks. I mean, life can't get better than this. Steaks on a boat in downtown Kingston. I guess an unknown treasure down here, because everybody just comes and docks here at these day docks and it doesn't cost anything. And, uh, uh, we've got shopping within and restaurants within a block of here. Got my new sunglasses. One little, little different style, a little more uh, aviators instead of my usual Terminator style glasses. Figure with the beard and the longer hair, the Terminator glasses didn't really suit me. Plus, I couldn't find a good pair that I like. So, trying something new. Let me know what you think. Jazz is downstairs doing the other half of our meal. We mashed potatoes. You can hear her banging and clanging. And I'm just, uh, I'm in charge of the barbecue like usual, every meal, charge a barbecue. All right, that's it for now. This is my favorite thing about owning a boat. Whether we're anchored out in front of a multi-million dollar waterfront home, or we're at a dock in front of all of these condos, people pay big, big bucks to have a view of the water. And when you're on a boat, especially if you're anchored, you have 360 degrees of waterfront property. Awesome. It's Sunday morning and we are going to crepes. breakfast. Crepes. Janice wants her crepes. Crepe We're duplicating what we did last time. Crepe. It's a bit of a hike, but uh, it's a beautiful day as you can see. So we're not too upset about the walk. Walking through the Sunday. Well, I think they have a market here all the time, but it's probably bigger on Sunday. Yeah, some antiques. Oh, there's a nice rooftop patio that we never noticed before. Okay. See the rooftop patio up there? Yeah. That's nice. I wonder what that rooftop bar that we saw from a distance is. It's Jack Astor's. And we have a Jack Astor's in Canada where we live, that we like, but it does not have a rooftop bar. We'll have to definitely come back and try that. Love the old metal, what are those called? Fire escape. Fire escape type things. So it reminds me of like New York City or something. And we're sitting here having crepes and we realize this church, when it's calling people to church, plays music with their bells. You enjoying your crepes? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. They're competing. There's a church down here also playing bells, but theirs just goes bing bong, bing bong. And then this one turns, starts up again. They're competing to get people to come to their church. This one's got better bells for sure. But that one's much bigger. So there's a better view of the church with the musical bells. There's Janice coming to me. She didn't go across the light when I did. You ran when there was one second left. There was one second left to cross and I went anyway. You left me in I thought you were coming. <laughs> well, Kingston seems to like to block their downtown roads for all sorts of reasons. Last time it was a buskers festival. I'm not sure what this is today, other than it's Sunday. And 
with some sort of thing going on. Flea market? I don't know. Who knows? One thing we've noticed being on the St. Lawrence River and the Thousand Islands is that there's tour boats everywhere. Well, the good times had to come to an end because Janice did need to get back to work. So I'll let Craig from back then take it from here. So Janice's vacation's over. So we're uh, motoring back to the club. Down below, just doing some last minute cleaning before we get off the boat. I still have two more weeks of vacation. A little bit more than two more weeks. So I'm gonna go home, do some editing for all these episodes I've created while we've been on vacation and uh, come back in a couple of days. So anyways. That'll be different. I'm gonna bring on some friends instead of Janice and we'll, we'll uh, try some different locations. So look forward to that. Well, that was the plan anyway. But as you know, when you own a boat or even a cottage, weather is the big factor. And we've never had a colder, wetter, sloppier summer than the one we're having this year. And the problem with my profession is you really can't pick your annual leave right as you know what the weather's gonna be. You pick it months and months in advance. And unfortunately, I had to be on vacation while it was raining. So having my friends out on the boat to party, which would have been a fun episode, just never happened. So the next episode is going to be with Janice, of course, and we're going to be going to Breaky Bay and showing off our new toy, something that's going to give us some serious freedom for the rest of the summer. As you probably noticed when you see us towing our dinghy, we've only ever had an electric trolling motor, which on the Ottawa River last season was fine because we never had far to go. But now that we're on the big water, it's time to go up with the big boys and get a gas engine for our dinghy. So now when we get to an anchorage, we don't just sit there and look at the surroundings. We get in the uh, dinghy and go exploring. It's been a great purchase. It really improves the enjoyment factor of the boat because now we can anchor where it's safe and then go take a look at things far away. Before we always felt kind of obligated to anchor fairly close since our electric trolling motor really couldn't go that far. And if you've been following along, you know that in our Wapoose episode, anchoring close to the action is probably not always the greatest move. So we'll cover that in the next episode. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode where we took a more detailed look at Kingston. If so, give it a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. Also, if you want to subscribe and hit the bell beside it, you'll get a notification when the next episode is uploaded. As mentioned before, Janice and I will be at the Annapolis Sailboat Show, so if you're interested in meeting up, follow us on Facebook and we'll try and keep up to date with where we're going. A special thanks to our patrons that support the channel, and until next time, this is Craig signing off, wishing you safe cruising. Safe cruising.